Now you guys are here for a test. A 24 hour test. Man, this is an endurance test, fellas. This is a test to see if you have what it takes to become Navy SEALs. So as I run you through this next 24 hours of training, let me tell you what most guys do to prepare themselves for BUDS and to motivate themselves once they're in BUDS to become Navy SEALs. Training tip number one. It's easy. Just imagine yourselves, fellas. This big shiny gold tried in on your chest going through airports in uniform, going into bars. People stare at you, man. They know what you are. They stare at you. They respect that. And you can hear them over your shoulder. Oh, wow, he's a seal. Parties? Imagine the parties. You are the center of attention at parties that you go to. The girls, boyfriends jealous. People come up to you and shake your hand all the time as a SEAL. Oh, don't kill me. You're a SEAL. Parents, think about your parents. They will yak endlessly about their son, the SEAL, to anyone that will listen. Anyone. Pretty cool, huh? Worth a few months of push-ups? That's the reason why most guys go to BUDS. It's also why the fucking attrition rate at Bud stands at 70 or 80 percent. That is not why you become a SEAL. Those guys are the first ones to leave training. They think they want to be SEALs, but they really don't. They want to say they're SEALs. That's the difference. Guys, the only people that get through Buds are the ones that want to become SEALs. Want to become SEALs. The other guys are gone quick. Quick. One minute they're sitting next to you in the surf zone at 2 o'clock in the morning, freezing their ass off just like you are, and the next second they are gone. Man, they are running for that belt. And it kind of bothers you at first, but then it stops quick. It reinforces why you're there, because not everyone can do that training, and it makes you stronger. It makes you stronger. Quick. Put all of you. <laughs> Go. What you guys got to remember is that SEAL Team is the big boys club. It's top of the food chain, man. It's a hard place with hard guys that do a hard job. These young SEALs I got out here today helping, these are pipe-swinging frogmen. Pipe-swingers. A few years in the teams, a couple of combat tours overseas, these guys look like fucking Patton in their uniforms. They've taken the test. They've passed it. Can you? Do you guys really want to do this? The other thing to remember, guys, you hear about it all the time. Training tip number two, Hell Week. Hell Week. Hell Week, the most notorious part of Bud's training. Let me tell you a little something about Hell Week. Hell Week is one of the easiest phases of training for guys that want to be SEALs. It's simple. It's a pass-fail evolution, fellas. All you got to do is still be standing there five and a half days later. And in that respect, it's easy. You just put your head down and do it. But most guys quit. They leave in Hell Week because they want to say they're SEALs. They really don't want to be SEALs. It's a small price to pay to become a SEAL to survive Hell Week, and it is what we carry with us for the rest of our lives and no matter what we do. Because Hell Week shows you what you're capable of doing. And you never forget that, no matter what you do. As SEALs, man, we want to test. Guys that aspire to become SEALs, become SEALs, want the biggest challenge that will ever get thrown at them. And SEAL Team is it, short of surviving a fucking plane crash in the Andes Mountain. It's SEAL Team. This is top of the food chain stuff. And the guys that you're around every day, they're, they're terminators. And you become one of those. You live and breathe it. You never stop. You never give up. Nothing phases you. You just keep going and going and going until you take that target. We want to be commandos. The best commandos. We want to paint our faces green. We want to carry a machine gun. We want to go where others won't go and do what others won't do. That's what being a SEAL is. Pray for peace. Sheesh, huh? We practice, 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 just like a sports team. 
and you get tired of practicing all the time, you want to play another team. You want to mix it up. We, we like the suck factor. We want to carry too much gear. We want it to be too hot. We want it to be too cold. We need that fucking challenge every day. And we need that challenge to suck. Because without the suck factor in it, you just forget it. What do you remember? You remember pain, you remember suffering, and you remember hardship, and it makes you stronger. It makes you proud. It's an inner pride. A pride you can't share with anyone else except the guys that you did it with. No one else understands. And we don't give a shit. So with that said, I got some good news. Today is going to suck. But just like in Bud's, Tonight is going to suck a lot worse. You guys sitting here that are destined to become SEALs, this 24 hours won't phase you a bit. It won't phase you. But for others, like a lot of guys that go to Bud's for the wrong reasons, I promise you one thing. You will not like what's coming up next. You're going to think it sucks. All right, let's do this thing. Go.